Good morning everyone. It's Psalm 63 for our Psalm of the Day today. I remember at school studying the rhyme of the ancient mariner, a long poem that begins with an ancient mariner stopping a man on his way to a wedding to tell him his sea story. It includes a dramatic confession that he shot the albatross and the consequences The wind dropped and the ship came to a standstill in the shimmering heat with water, water everywhere and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Well, David is in the desert of Judah. He's there because his son Absalom is rebelling against him the consequence of David's sin against Uriah and Bathsheba. But through this painful experience, David finds himself thirsting for God. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. Like the desert, David's soul is dry and parched. But why does he thirst for God? In the song he gives us two reasons. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. He may well have been reflecting on God's faithful and forgiving love. Even though he was in a dark and difficult place, the Lord had not abandoned him. And that's true of God's people today. His love is better than life. We can search and find all the blessings this life can offer. But in the end, it's only the knowledge of his love that satisfies us. As with the richest of foods. And then David says, Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. Despite his past failures and present troubles, David received help from the Lord through the friendship and support of people like Barzillai, who brought him and his men food and refreshment. It's great when we can recognise God's help and provision through his people and we can find ourselves singing God's praises. As William Cowper once wrote, Sometimes a light surprises the Christian when he sings. It is the Lord who rises with healing in his wings. When comforts are declining, he grants the soul again a season of clear shining to cheer it after rain. And that can be our experience too. And the song ends with an emphatic statement. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God will glory in him. It points us forward to the son of David, the king of kings, who rejoiced that his father had hidden these things from the wise and learned and had revealed them to little children. And we, as his children, glory or boast in Jesus. And we remember that Jesus cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. And that's so that we can know God and satisfy our thirst. Jim Packer went to be with the Lord this week. In his wonderful book, Knowing God, he quotes C.H. Spurgeon. The highest science, the loftiest speculation, the mightiest philosophy, which can ever engage the attention of a child of God, is the name, the nature, the person, the work, the doings, and the existence of the great God whom he calls his Father. So let's pray with David these words, shall we? Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. 
my whole being longs for you. Amen.